am so proud to present and to be here with the amazing, legendary, poet, Farron. Will you dream in the morning? May you dream at night? May your love light be so bright it diminish the darkness that comes without warning and in no particular way and threatens to blow you away. You can pray to a flower or a bird on the line. What's clear in the mirror Twist with cheap evening wine So those sweet running creek beds Seem to show up on time And keep you from blowing away Here's the part you might want I wish I could tell you All the pains in your In the women's scene, like when you were coming up in that women's music, did you feel part of a movement? Not at first. I always felt on the outside. In and, what way? Well, because of what I was writing and how I am and how I take up space or don't or whatever. It's just a different... And I, and I was a Canadian coming through. But then as years went by, if I think finally by the 90s, I, I realized that there was something that was very precious that I had been a part of. And I started going back to the festival, and basically mm. just to see us uh, grow older, and and to realize that that had been my tribe, you know. I don't think that we could have known how much it was going to matter later. Uh, you know, when I started singing, and uh, well, first of all, I didn't think anybody was going to like me, and then secondly, you know, like what I did, and then secondly, it caught on, and it, and it, you know, because I was. Considering the, po the personal politics is 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 what I've always been interested in. I mean, if you you know, I can remember being young and someone saying, asking me this question: Could you sit under a tree and do nothing for 15 years and be changing the world? Hmm, right. So half the time you're thinking, sure. The other half the time you're thinking, no way. You got to be out there. And I think that that's been the whole question of of my life. Is like our are you affecting people by changing yourself, by, by say, staying out of aggressive situations? Um, you know, can you change the world? I mean, in, in a sense, um, what's his name? Uh, Tibet monk, what's his name? Uh -huh. The Dalai Lama. Yeah. yeah. Is he changing the world? By, you know, he used to sit, of course, now he's out in limos and doing talks and everything. So maybe when he thought of that question in the end, he thought, no, darn it, I gotta get out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but now what he's spouting when he's going and giving talks is probably a lot of stuff he learned by sitting still. Yeah, yeah. I was anxious at the time because everything was very political and, you know, kind of black and white in a lot of ways. And I wanted to explore through my own words, that that question, like, how come, um, you know, there's this thing, uh, you could go into a party, and, and there's a person there, and, and one person likes the person, and the other person doesn't like the person, okay, mm -hmm. so then you're talking to each other, and after you leave, you ask the person who liked the person, how close was that person standing to you, and they don't really know, you ask the person who didn't like the person, how close they were standing, very close. They were standing very close. And yet the person is exactly where they are. One person doesn't notice it as a threat and the other person does. Hmm. So that all of, uh, all of your perception is just that. It's your perception based on, on your feelings. So it, it dawned on me early on, hey, you know, if I feel uh, abandoned or I feel victimized, then the thing to change is my perception. And, and, and that would be my, my power. Like, I had the power to change my point of view. It sounds so easy, but I've been writing about it for 30 years. Mm. Thank you very much. Thank you, bitch. Thank you all.